Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Taurus. If you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Taurus, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back, my loves. My apologies for my voice, all right? I've been hanging out with family over the weekend. We've been having a good at a good time, and I've lost my voice from all the laughs and yelling and things that's been going on. So excuse my voice, loves, all right? I am literally drinking on my tea, okay? So just bear with me, bulls, all right? Okay? That's how us saggies sometimes can do. We can cut a rug, okay? All right, so we had a good time over the weekend. So my apologies for my voice, but I'm still here and present in spirit and in my physical vessel, my shape. All right, so we're first going to start with an oracle deck here. Check in with your spiritual higher self. If of course, as always, as we do, we go to the doctor, we do our physical check-in, right? We're making sure that we're healthy. We want to make sure all the way across the board, spiritually wise as well. So we're tapping in here spiritually with your higher self and see what messages your guardian angels and your ancestors have for you. All right, bulls. So we have adversity. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me drink a sip of my tea before I get into it, honey. Mm yeah. I love you, bulls. I love you, okay? Thank you for your patience. All right, so we have adversity here, okay? I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, okay? Wow. Oh, my goodness. So this is definitely, I, you know, can remember being in this energy once before or trying to get an understanding due to, you know, our own mistakes that sometimes we can make. And after the mistakes have took place, learning from those mistakes, right? So now being able to accept that, Taurus, that this can be a challenging, yes, because you maybe wasn't thinking at first when you made the decision or when you went ahead, made whatever type of agreement or whatever this may be for you, right? And now accepting those challenges and learning from the best way you can and maneuverate basically here, bulls, through this experience, okay? And that's going to definitely take you a long way just simply learning from whatever this was for you, okay? It's something definitely adversity here that you're needing to put yourself in that mindset, okay? We know adversity is being versatile, being able to do multiple things and see yourself in different situations and using your perspective and your discernment from all of those particular circumstances or situations, okay? So be adversitized or adversity when it comes to this thought and thinking process. Don't limit it, basically, Taurus. Don't limit it yourself, your thoughts, and your capabilities, okay? You can do anything that you put your mind to, especially if this was a mistake that you made. Now that you know what the results were, and or now can be now you know how to work and do it better because you now know the mistake you made this go around right this is with a person um, a particular business project anything that you tried and manifested here for yourself all right you want to go with adversitize or adver adversity excuse me mindset okay don't limit how you could go about fixing a situation or you know, having a better outcome for yourself, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Woo! I hope that helped. I wanted to channel that the best way I could, all right, from my higher self and also trying to balance my voice here, honey. Yay! All right, let's move forward to your beautiful messages. Thank you, guardian angels and ancestors. Let's move forward and get you a message out here for your love life. Okay, let's see what's here in the month of October and coming towards you here, Bulls, Gordon Angels. What do we have for the Bulls? What do we have for Taurus when it comes to their love life? What's going on here? Definitely if they're reading here so far is resonating love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, loves. Show me what's going on for the Bulls. What do they need to know when it comes to love? What's coming in here for love for the Bulls, Gordon Angels, Ancestors? All right, 
okay we have a lot of cards here okay so we're going to get it out here okay it all has come out so i have to take them all right and we're gonna maneuver through this and use our adversity mindset bulls okay let's go for it we got the ten of pentacles here this is your energy here bulls okay Taurus, capricorn and virgo all right this could be referencing to a family foundation here all right, we have the Page of Pentacles here, okay? There's more of your energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo here, all right? So there is an ideal here or a, again, adversity mindset here, all right, that is being taken place. So rather, this is you, Taurus, or the person that you are engaging here with, all right? They are in the mindset of, you know, wanting to establish or build a relationship or even blend families here together okay or if this is a person that you are currently engaging here in a relationship here with okay or will be for others of you all here there's an opportunity here this is coming in possibly through a message okay this could be coming through a phone call communication all right an email here for some of y'all a partnership here all right and some of you all not only partnership or business here Okay, but also a lover, okay? This is someone that sees themselves being able to establish several portals or avenues with you when it comes to a family, when it comes to a business family together. Other avenues here that are going to assist in regards to, you know, planning and building and setting goals here together, okay? This is someone who's very smart and intelligent here, like yourself, Bulls. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Damn. A lot of yellow here. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of yellow. All right. We are definitely working with the color yellow this week. All right. Which talks about new beginnings. Okay. Which is the Ace of Pentacles talks about a new beginning, a new opportunity. Okay. Someone is definitely coming towards you here with some opportunities here, Bulls. Wow. All right. And this is also going to allow you to gain more financial financial excuse me stability here okay wow all right so we also have the tower card here that's scorpio energy here all right some of y'all this person may be a scorpio or a water sign here a cancer or pisces but particularly here that is scorpio energy here okay so there's a tower moment here this could be someone again that you are in a relationship here with or someone from your past here excuse me that it was returning here, how this guy here is returning to this woman or this mother and her child, okay? This could be someone from your past. This could be the mother or the father. Bulls of your child here for some of you all. Not all of you all, okay? Others of you all that are single here, this is definitely your ships here, honey, coming in. This is what you've manifested, okay? This is what you set the intentions here for, okay? And it's coming in through the divine structure here with the handout over here, okay? This is all being illustrated here through the divine, okay? It's been assisted here, okay? They've heard your calling here. And this is now about to be manifested. For some of you all, it's going to be unexpectedly here. Yeah, we got the Six of Pentacles here. Definitely going to give you opportunities for giving even exchange energies here, okay? But now we have the Four of Cups here. That's Cancerian energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be a Cancer. You guys know I have OCD, so I have to straighten this up, okay? That's going to fucking bother me. All right. So, yeah, I feel like for some of you all, this person that you engaged here with a relationship in the past, okay? Or, the, again, this could be an ex-lover here for some of you all that's single here as well. And because, yes, it's like they're coming towards you with everything that you will want to hear, right? Like, the message here is a message in regards to the page of, the. it's not the page of cups, okay? It's not the page of ones. Page of cups and page of ones, for me, is just like, you know, conversations. They're not offers. They're just conversations on how they feel about you and, you know, how they emotions are or towards you and how attractive you are with the page of wands right but this person is coming with the page of pentacles here taurus okay which talks about you know building learning all right expanding 
expanding their mindset, expanding the way that they do things physically to manifest. And this is what they're wanting to physically manifest here with you and bringing you more of a solid offer here because this is something that obviously here, fools, this person didn't do in the past, okay? And this is going to be a shocker, I feel like, for some of you all. Wow, yeah, look, we have the King of Cups here, more Scorpio energy. So Scorpio is very significant for some of you all, bulls. Last card, we have the Devil, all right, Capricorn energy here. Some of y'all, this is where this relationship, then marriage led to, you know. I feel like this person's choices here in the past, here, bulls, became more off balance, became more unhealthy for the family, could have made effect on you, your loved ones, your children for some of you all, and then it became a pattern of becoming unhealthy and toxic. And so you two had to remove yourself from each other's space for some of you all here. And this was a burden for some of you all, right? This tower card here. Let's clarify this tower card. Oh, excuse me, loves. Thank you for the ones that are being patient in regards to my voice. Because <clears throat> I was going to just take the day off. But I was like, no. My bulls need to get this message out. You know, rather how I sound. You know, but however. That's that Sagittarius energy in me. So I digress. So clarify the tower card here for my bulls, please. Clarify the tower. Oh, we have the, oh, shit, spirit, hold on. We have the Nine of Cups here, Water Energy, Cancer, and Pisces, and Scorpio. Because this person is now going towards their ultimate purpose and what that is for them. And I feel like a part of that here is literally how this person is going to be explaining this to some of you all, but just in choosing different words, right? But however, here, this person sees you, of course, as their wish for fulfillment, but they see you also in alignment in their wish for fulfillment and what that is for them, you know, with this Ace of Pentacles coming behind it. And some of y'all going to be like, what? Yeah, the Magician card here. This person has really got into an energy here where they've even went through their own spiritual awakening or just realization of how the family or how this person's decisions affected the family. And now because of that, you know, looking back on this type of energy, yeah, this person now has regrets. They are even disappointed here, I feel, in themselves. Yeah, look at this. We got the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy here. Some of you all, Taurus, this person is a Sagittarius. Wow. And we know the, the Wheel of Fortune, as I mentioned, talks about expansion, okay? This person has expanded their mind. They've gotten a whole new perspective on what they need to do and what role do they need to play in this relationship okay with this king of cups energy here now we know the wheel of fortune also talks about things working out in your favor Taurus and also this situation here working out for the better and changing over time so meaning that this relationship and your family here has an opportunity to rebuild, reestablish, and work out over time. Because healing brings about a time of change, right? So this is for some of you all where you're either currently in this situation. Because everyone's timelines, right, are different. You could be anywhere on this timeline right now, right, bulls? So just take it definitely where it resonates for you. Wow, beautiful spread there today. Again, thank you for the ones being patient with me and my voice and my over-the-weekend activity. Yay. All right, so let's get you a love message before we head out of here, Bulls. Thank you so much. Shout out to the Bull Gang. Shout out to the Soul Tribe Gang Gang. I appreciate your love and support. Again, if you would love to become an evolving spirit, click that join link down below and join the Soul Tribe, my love. I do provide additional content with our own private community where I do provide daily tarot spreads daily enlightenment as well ways to spiritually mentally and emotionally evolve my love yes that's the main goal here and i am available for personal readings as well if you would love to book a personal reading all that information is down below in the description box my loves, all right 
Guardian Angels, what's the love message here for the month of October for my beautiful bulls? What's the love message here, Guardian Angels? As we close out the spread, wow. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here, bulls. Oh my goodness. This is what it's been all along. It's just been off balance and out of structure here, I feel like, for some of you all. And others of you all, this brand new beginning here with all this beautiful yellow that we're working with this is like your reading is definitely going in alignment with the color that we're working on spiritually here, which talks about your solar plexus chakra as well. Some of y'all, this is someone new, okay, and that you realize this magnetic, strong connection spiritually wise that you have with this individual here. All right, and others of you all, this is your ex-spouse, okay? Some of y'all, this is your ex-husband, ex-wife here, all right? And on down the line in the future, things are going to end up working out for you all's favor here, okay? All right? Wow, beautiful spread here again. Once again, my love's bull. Definitely, if you have enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All right, again, I am available for personal readings. All that information is down below in the description box, my loves. I love you all so, so much. Thank you again, Taurus, for your continuous love and support. You guys take care. And remember, your health is your wealth. All right? I love you, bulls. Mwah!